Okay, so I have a, a definition of narcissism that's a little different from other people's. Normally we think of a narcissist as someone who loves themselves. And I'm actually saying that a narcissist is a person who doesn't love themselves sufficiently. Mm. So in order to get through life, we have to have a degree of self-esteem. We have to think that we're worthy of certain things. We have to have a sense of inner worth. If we don't have that kind of bedrock from within, we constantly need attention and validation from other people, right? I need attention, I need to stir trouble, I need to feed my ego. I can't get it from myself, I have to get it from other mm. people. Mm -hmm. That's a classic, what I call a deep narcissist. And that's why they cause so many problems in life. And I measure it. I say, imagine it like a water line. And here at the top is someone who's not a narcissist. Here at the middle is kind of an average person. And as you sink deeper into narcissism, you're more and more self-absorbed. You can never get up to that mid-level point where you can start thinking about other people. At the high point, you're someone who's very empathetic. You're able to get inside the mind of other people. You understand their moods, their emotions. Most of us fall at that range of maybe 60%, 50 being the middle line. We have moments of narcissism where we get self-absorbed, particularly if we have problems and we, we, we turn inward. But then we have enough self-esteem because of our parents and because of our background that we raise ourselves back up and we don't keep continually sinking into that narcissism. We want to get higher, we want to get to that level where we're able to be more empathetic. A deep narcissist has sunk so far below that they can never get up to even to that halfway point. They're so self-absorbed, they're so insecure, they constantly must stir up trouble, they need to be the center of attention. If to be the center of attention means to create a great work of art, that's fine. But sometimes to be the center of attention means to mess with people, to create problems, to stir up trouble, and to be the, at the center of that. Once somebody is at that level, like a 20 or a 30, and these are just arbitrary numbers, sure. there's nothing that's gonna raise them back up. That's who they are. There's nothing they can do. There's almost nothing other people can do. They are, um, they are uh, what's the word? They're damaged goods. A lot There's of, nothing that, that can happen. There. I don't think so. Wow. Um, That's, those are some strong words right there. Well, I have a story, actually, a story that got cut from the book. If you got my bonus material, if you pre-order The Laws of Human Nature, you get some bonus material. There's a story I cut that I give you about Robert Oppenheimer, the physicist, who was a deep narcissist who managed to kind of cure himself. And the way he cured himself was through work. Instead of absorbing himself in in getting attention, he put all of his energy into the Manhattan Project and into later becoming a, a great physicist, um, sort of a public figure. He turned against uh, nuclear arms, etc. Um, he sort of cured himself. You can perhaps cure yourself through your work, through getting out of this, Interesting. getting your attention through what you achieve rather than through what you stir up from other people. But generally, once you get down past that that, that low level, there's nothing you can do because you're addicted to, you're addicted to getting attention from other people.